I just downloaded One UI 8 on my Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, and I wanted to share a little bit about what the user experience has been like and a little bit of some of the changes I see. Now, this video isn't going to be a comprehensive list of all of the features in One UI. I'm looking at a post on Reddit right now with 13 pages of changes. More what I wanna cover on has been some of the things that I've noticed from day to day, performance and battery. So first up, performance wise, uh, I have not noticed any decrease in performance, especially when it comes to responsiveness. In fact, if anything, it feels a little bit more responsive. Uh, when I upgrade to Android 16 on my Pixel 8 Pro, I notice this as well. So I don't think that some of these performance tweaks are necessarily uh, One UI 8 specific. I think just Android 16 in general does run a bit quicker. I also really like some of the changes made to the control panel of being able to edit and kind of just move uh, things like nearby devices or just like smart things, being able to just like remove those and just move them away uh, or move them out the top is something that I really, really enjoy simply because while I do use smart view, sometimes I don't use smart devices and stuff like that. Next up, I've received some questions about whether or not uh, there's any difference in the camera quality. To be honest with you, I have not noticed any difference specifically in photo still quality. I've been trying to shoot uh, a few snaps here and there, and I don't really notice much of a difference. Uh, we do have a new calculator app, which is really, really nice. And there there is a bunch of like AI uh, call screening stuff and there's some AI uh, gallery picture stuff, which I've noticed that's really, really nice. Uh, personally, here in Vietnam, I don't really use... Uh, I don't use the phone very much. We just use like messaging apps to call people and stuff like that. But definitely I know some people are going to be really, really excited about things like call captions, uh, scam detection, et cetera. Uh, other features that I've noticed, uh, we do have some new customization in regards to the home screen, which I really, really like. Uh, I am not one to necessarily have a super elaborate home screen. I try to usually like keep it pretty simple, pretty minimal on my home screen. And just like scrolling around this device, I'm kind of reminded at how like fast and responsive it is and just kind of how much quicker it feels when using it right now. Uh, we have some new features in the gallery though. There have been some updates to how things look. We have uh, AI audio eraser. Um, to clean up sound. Uh, we have some changes to like the now brief that I got this morning when I woke up. To be honest with you guys, I have turned, I have disabled Bigsby uh, in, in general. Um, we do have some changes made to quick share uh, to allow you to go ahead and get stuff shared. Uh, if you guys use Samsung internet instead of Brave, I personally use Brave, there have been some changes to that. Uh, sticky notes, I use Google Keep because it syncs across platform. Uh, we do have some new stuff with Dex, which I'm really excited to try out right now. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and get this set up with Dex. We have some stuff, we have some new changes to split screen view, uh, which is going to hopefully, you know, be really, really beneficial. Uh, a reminders app, if you guys use the Samsung reminders, uh, and, uh, being able to quickly add events in Samsung calendar. Now I do know that, uh, 